Good morning and welcome to the Daily Tanya. Today is Friday, the sixth day of Tammuz. Let's begin with Tzedakah. Gedela, Tzedakah, Shemakarev, Sasegeula. Tzedakah brings Mashiach closer. And today we are finishing chapter 10 in Shah Yichud Ve'emuna. And we're talking about God's spheres, the attributes that is revealed in this world Hashem uses them to create the world, and specifically the six days of creation. Because we spoke yesterday, we explained the concept of the light that is given as a metaphor to Hashem's revelation of His energy. And we explained that the metaphor, the analogy to light, is, is given to express the fact that Hashem and His attributes are one, and they're completely included within Hashem. We give the analogy of the light, just like like the sunlight has, it's a separate entity outside of the sun. But if there is light outside of of the sun, there is certainly light inside of the sun, of the sun globe, the orb of the sun. But nevertheless, in the sun itself, the light is not identifiable as a separate entity. It is included within the sun, and that is the analogy to given to Hashem. That the, all the attributes that God uses to animate the, the world, Hashem uses these tools, so to speak, to create the world. But within Hashem, it's all one. It's all included in Hashem. Hashem is above and beyond all these attributes. So here the Alter Rebbe goes on to explain that this is the the way Hashem created the world, the six days of creation. So on on the first day, Hashem said, Yehi Or, let there be light. Light is an expression, not just a physical light, but this is the revelation, the giving, just like light reveals. And as we said in the analogy of the light of the sun, the light comes out of the sun and it is revealed. And that is related to the first attribute called chesed. Chesed is kindness. The the giving, the revealing. And and that what happened on the first day, Hashem revealed everything. But within the attributes in the higher levels in the Tzidlus, which is the first world of the four worlds, there the attributes are interconnected and included from one another. So when you have Chesed, it includes in it also the other attributes, the, the attributes of Gevura, which is restricting. Because if there wouldn't be any restricting of the light, then the light would have been a spiritual light, an endless light, without any of the physical limitations. So that is why it includes in it also the attribute of Gevura. And it also includes in them the the intellectual attributes, the intellect, the will, I mean, just like a human being, you have this process that comes into revelation. They are all included. So this is uh, uh, this un- gives us understanding also in Hashem's attribute how they are all included with each other. And the same thing is with the sec- the second day. What happened the mon- on Monday, the second day of creation? There was the separation between the higher waters and the lower waters. So reading it in uh, second grade, we, under, we understood it as second graders understand this. There's the waters, they're up and down, Hashem separated the waters, but there's obviously much deeper meaning to this. The higher waters represent the spiritual reality. And the lower, the lower waters is the physical world. And Hashem made this separation. And the separation was for our good, because if there would be no separation, then the spiritual would dominate, and we wouldn't be able to have, to be here. 
but yet within the spiritual within this separation this also includes the kindness and again because this whole separation was for our good so we can be here and serve Hashem on a physical world so let's see how the Alter Rebbe explains this in Tanya let's see it inside so the Alter Rebbe Alderich Marshal Bayim Rishain Mishashis and Mabereshis Nigleis Midas Achesed Klula Mikol Midas Akdoishis Uratain Vechmasa Binasa Vedaitari Melubashim Ba. For example, on the first day, the first of the six days of creation, the attribute of kindness comprised of all God's holy emotive attributes with his will and wisdom and understanding and knowledge and clothed in it was revealed. So the main attribute that is on, on the first day of creation, that the dominant attribute is the attribute of kindness, which is revealing, yea, or let there be light. But everything else is also included in it. And with this attribute, he created light through the utterance, let there be light. And what is the idea of the light? Is the diffusion of the light, of the goodness, the giving, with no ends. And this is the diffusion and flow of light into the world from above and its diffusion in the world from one end to another this creation of light is an expression of the attribute of kindness for chesed is characterized by diffusion and revelation but then as uh, he says the Alter Rebbe, that the, this kindness also included in it also the attributes of severity Yet, because the attribute of kindness also includes the attributes of might, and as we said before, because of the attribute in the world of Atsilus, it is a world where all are the all the attributes are incorporated from one another. So therefore the light was not as spiritual as the actual supernal light. So in order to limit the spirituality, the endless power of the light of the chesed, he needed to have the gvura to, to, use, to be used as the limiting force. And it also became enclosed in this world, which is finite and limited. For it is a journey of 500 years from earth to heaven and from east to west. So whether this is a physical uh, um, distance or a spiritual distance, Nevertheless, it is a limiting concept, something which you limit, it is limited to 500 year walk. So these limitations would not have, would not have come to pass were creation to proceed undiluted from the attributes of kindness, because the kindness is just giving with no limits, which diffuses without limitations. However, since the attribute of might, the limitation, the severity, the source of limitations is incorporated within this kindness, creation is finite. At any rate, because the attribute of kindness was revealed and was dominant during the first day of creation, the created beings related to chesed, such as light, came into existence on that day. That's what happened on the first day of creation. So again, the first day of creation was literal. There was a day, and the light was created. 
but that's all also an expression of the spiritual concept, the light, the revelation. Now, what happened on the second day? The second day was the separation. And like manner, on the second day, there was revealed the attribute of might, which is composed of the other emotive attributes and his will, and so on. Meaning the Chabad, the intellectual attributes, everything is included also in the attribute of Gevura, the attributes of might. So what was created through this attribute? The firmament, the sky, the separation from the upper waters and the lower waters. And with this attribute of might, God created the firmament through the utterance. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from waters, the upper waters from the lower waters. So this separation of the waters by the firmament is an expression of tzimtzum, restriction. Tzimtzum and restraint, kevuros, to conceal the upper spiritual waters from the lower waters. Here we see the Alter Rebbe clearly mentions the upper waters referring to spiritual waters. To separate the world, the spiritual world, from physical worlds. And through this separation from the upper worlds, the lower the lower waters became material. This materiality was brought about through the tzimtzum and concealment, which emanates from the attribute of might. The attribute, that attribute was revealed and dominant, and dominant during the second day of creation. So this is how it came about to have become a physical material world through the givurus, the restricting and the separation from the higher spiritual realm to the lower, to the physical one. However, this restriction included also kindness because that itself is kindness. The fact that the building, in order to build the world, you need to be restricted. So the restrictions is a kindness in order to be a, enable us to be here and to serve Hashem. That's what Alter Rebbe continues. Umidas chesed klulaba ki oilam chesed ibane. Now the attribute of kindness is included in this attribute, but the world is built with kindness. And as the Rebbe adds, that the very act of building itself is an expression of kindness. Thus, even where, where might prevails, it is tempered by the attribute of chesed. And what is the kindness in order for us to be here and to serve Hashem? She'akoil k'dei she'teroa yabosho ve'odam oleo laved Hashem, laved Hashem. For all this, the division of the waters is in order that dry land appears and man live upon it to serve God. So thus, this too is ultimately an expression of kindness. And the same thing, so it is, so is, this is with them all, with all of the attributes. They're all included from one another. Each of the other the motive attributes was likewise revealed on each subsequent day in order to bring created beings into existence. So every day brings another level of existence, another, another aspect of existence. And that was revealed in the first six, in the six days of creation. 
continues the Alter Rebbe and says, this is also what it says in, in the Pasach Aliyo. It says that Hashem has this attribute to show us how the world is judged with both, both judgment and compassion. And this is it is this thought that Elio, Elijah, expressed in Tikkunim. The purpose of the emanation of the Zephyrus was to show how the world is conducted with righteousness and justice. Now we said justice and compassion, and we'll soon explain what that means. So the Alter Rebbe goes on. What it says there, tzedek yudin, righteousness is law, the attribute of givura. Doing what is right, what is what is correct. There's an expression that says, ikoi vadina sa'ah, let the judgment purse the mountain. If that is a just decision, it doesn't matter whether the person, you don't consider whether the person did it uh, what was the circumstances? This is the ju- right justice. This is the law that has to be carried out. That is tzedek. But mishpat iurachame. Justice is mercy. Hold on. That's it. It's a little confusing here with the with the terms because here both tzedek and mishpat is 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 righteousness and justice, but the tzedek is more the strict law. The mishpat. The justice, he says, it refers to mercy, which means, yes, you decide. It's not like chesed. Chesed is giving without limits. Gevura is restricting. The rachamim, the mishpat, balances them both. And he says, yes, it is giving not without limits, but even con- considering having compassion, apathy to those people to those creatures who deserve apathy. You realize the circumstances and so on and so forth. So even if people do not deserve it, you still give them out of compassion. And all the revelations of the attribute is to show how the world is conducted. So we're saying Hashem is using this attribute to show how the world is conducted. In other words, from our perspective, we see these types of attributes, these type of godly revelations in this world. But it's not that God has these attributes. The attributes, as we said before, just like the light of the sun within the sun is nullified. And everything just comes out from him. But it's but it's not that God has this knowable attribute of justice and kindness and so on. That's what, Alta, and that's what it continues, quoting from the Tikkun Ezoyah, But it is not that you have a knowable righteousness, which is law, nor a knowable justice, which is mercy, nor any of these other attributes at all. We cannot ascribe to Hashem that Hashem has these attributes. It is just that these attributes come out from Hashem. It's interesting to note also that it is known that the six days of creation correspond to the six millennia that Hashem created this world for. And we see also in this six days, the six thousand years, the first thousand year was the attribute of chesed was dominant. The attributes of giving with no limits. That is why even though people didn't deserve anything, the people sinned, the people committed terrible things, but they lived long and they had, you know, thousands, they lived uh, over a thousand years, hundreds and hundreds of years and so on. And then the second, second millennium was the attribute of Gevura more predominant. 
That's when the and, and that uh, attribute that thousand that millennia he had the flood and he had all kinds of judgment and restrictions. And the third millennia, the Tiferes, is the compassion, the combining of the both of both, and reaching out. And Tiferes, it says, is, is the attribute that reaches out very, very deep in Hashem and all the way, all the way down. And that is why in that thousand year, in that millennia, Avram Avinu came and the Torah was given. We are now in the sixth millennia. And in the, in the later half of the sixth millennia, this is like a Friday afternoon. On Friday afternoon, we're getting ready for Shabbos. It means we're getting ready for the complete revelation that Hashem is revealed, just like on Shabbat, the first Shabbos. Hashem uh, revealed Himself and elevated the world to a higher level. That's what we are all about, getting ready for the, the years of Mashiach, which will bring all of this creation and everything that we have done until now to the bottom line, to be connected with Hashem and to serve Hashem in the coming of Mashiach. So have a wonderful Shabbos. We'll see you with Hashem after Shabbos.